Kane getting some retribution from a morbidly disgusting human being. And why exactly is Triple H morbidly disgusting? Because of the disgusting, salacious videotape that he aired last week on this broadcast. He was able to reverse that. The big boot connects. Kane, like him or not, you have to admit that since arriving here in WWE in 1997, Kane has cemented himself as one of the most imposing figures this company has ever seen. Well, I certainly can't deny that, Cole. His resume really speaks for itself. A former WWE champion, seven-time World Tag Team champion, two-time Intercontinental champion, hardcore champion. I mean, let's face it, Kane's done it all. He almost took his head off with that lariat. Triple H is chipping away. The quick kick. He's got him. Watch it. Ooh. Great reversal. There's a good reason that's called a backbreaker. It can snap your spine. And he brings his leg crashing down. Kane, a two-time Intercontinental Champion, hoping to gain a level of retribution from the game here tonight. And ironically, Kane, Kane's first Intercontinental Championship reign came at the expense of Triple H in a chain match at Judgment Day last year. And in keeping with the theme, Kane's second Intercontinental Championship reign actually came to an end when Triple H beat the Big Red Monster at No Mercy eight days ago. And of course, that No Mercy match between Kane and Triple H was a unification match where the game's World Heavyweight Championship was also on the line. This is the first casket match on Monday Night Raw since 1999. How great is this, Cole? May 17th, 1999. Undertaker defeated The Rock in a Rail Raw casket match, thanks in part to Triple H's interference. Well, of course, who will ever forget after the match when Triple H took a sledgehammer to the casket, making it look like it was involved in a massive car wreck. Last week, right here on Raw, Kane and his tag team partner Rob Van Dam beat Triple H and Ric Flair following an RVD five-star frog splash onto the Nature Boy. But the real story came after the match when Kane locked Triple H in the trunk of his car and drove off. <laughs> Luckily for the game, he was able to eventually break free. I can only imagine what would have happened if Triple H had remained locked in that trunk. Oh, big DDT! Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. The game avoids trouble there. Yeah, Triple H saw that one coming a mile away. And Kane manages to reverse out of that one. Look out for Kane! These two men are no strangers to battling each other. And now look at this! Into the casket! He's almost got him! Oh my god! The casket! Oh, it looks like it's on What? What a ball! Wow, what a punch! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! That's it! He's out! Triple H cannot beat Kane in a fair fight. There's no way in hell the game can beat Kane. Kane looking to put Triple H away. Oh. Triple H though goes down low. And now Triple H looking for the pedigree. Oh, and he got it. Pedigree by Triple H. That casket is open. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this. Who is in the casket? Shawn Michaels is in the casket. Heartbreak Kid was in the casket. HBK comes out of the casket to become Triple H's worst nightmare. Kevin, oh, we haven't seen Shawn Michaels since SummerSlam. Oh, he's back! Michaels is feeling it! Oh, look at this! Tune it up the band! Yeah! Oh, sweet chin music! The Heartbreak Kid! Center stage! The showstopper to stop the show for Triple H! And now look at this! 
into the casket. He's almost got him. Trying to save himself. And now back to his feet. I don't know what Katie Vick ever saw in Katie. He must have had a cool car or something. That's the only reason she'd ever go out with him. Are you kidding? And now look at this. Into the casket. He's almost got him. Trying to save himself. And now back to his feet. H, the ring general is controlling the match one more time. Triple H spots the opening. Let's not forget, King, these two superstars will be part of the first ever Elimination Chamber match at Survivor Series next month on pay-per-view. And you can add Chris Jericho, Booker T, Rob Van Dam, and Shawn Michaels to that match. Although earlier tonight, Triple H didn't seem to think HBK would be at 100. That's it. He's done. And now look at this! Into the casket! He's almost got him! Trying to save himself! And now back to his feet! Dropped! And that was up! And now look at this! Into the casket! He's almost got him! Trying to save himself! And now back to his feet! Knocked down! What a shot! And now look at this! Into the casket! He's almost got him! Trying to save himself! And now back to his feet! Oh, after that, you're not seeing... And now look at this! Into the casket! 